Hello, this is Mike Kroger, Finale Inventory. In this uh, short demo, we're going to cover Pick and Pack, a fantastic uh, batch order picking feature of our mobile barcode scanner. So let's jump right in here. We're going to go here to the familiar uh, Finale home screen. Now what we're talking about here is you know, a condition where you may have um, a lot of orders to fulfill all at once, and you don't want to make individual trips into the warehouse for each individual order. You want to somehow create a batch of orders and you want to take all those orders and be able to create a consolidated pick list so that you go through the warehouse one time for all of the orders, pick all the thing items you need, and then you're going to pack them. Okay, so we call that pick and pack. So for example, we're going to jump over to our ShipStation interface here. So I'm going to be using the example here in ShipStation dashboard. We've got three orders sitting here uh, awaiting to be shipped. So a common scenario would be if you look, these three orders all have, you know, items on it. We've got one item on this one, two items on this one, and three on this one. So they may have some commonality. So say, you know, the red card uh, may be on all three orders, and then there's something different on each of the other ones. So you'd want to only want to make one trip. So ordinarily, a uh, good way to do this is to create a batch. So I'm just going to create and highlight all three orders. So normally what you could do then is say print the packing slips. So if I said, you know, print the packing slips, that would look something like this. So you would each have a packing slip. We've got a packing slip of the first order. It's got the red card on it for a quantity one. We've got another order here with a black and a red card. And then a third order with a yellow, white, and red card. All right, so those are packing slips. So what you would end up doing is printing those out, noticing here at the top corner there is a barcode. Um, in the upper right, that's the uh, barcode of the order ID. So that's going to drive the barcode scanner. So the other thing that you commonly might try to do to uh, assist yourself in doing this is you might print a consolidated pick list. Now, at a ship station, it would look something like this. Uh, you see how it's taking the three orders that I selected and it's consolidating them and going, you know what, you're going to need to get three of the red cards and one each of these other ones to satisfy the three orders in total, right? But you're not going to have to do that, but I just want to give you that visual to see that's exactly what our barcode scanner is going to do. So once again, you would print your packing slips, that's going to give you the barcodes at the top, and then of course our goal here is the scanner is going to take care of this consolidated pick list for you. All right, so let's move on to this, uh, what you would do next. So you would, you know, this is where the, the Finale barcode scanner comes in. So if you can see my live video there, you're going to see where I've already printed out the, pick, the, the packing slips. So I've got three packing slips here, one for each of the three orders. It's got a barcode in the upper right. That's the barcode of the order ID that's going to assist the scanner. So I'm also going to bring up my scanner so you can see this. Now we have a live link to my scanner. Now, our Finale mobile barcode scanner is wireless. It does not have to be connected to a computer. You can go anywhere you want in the warehouse now. You may see a, a cable in my video here. That's just so that you can see this live link to it, okay? But that's not required. So what we need to do, well, we're going to go to barcode scanning here in the background on the Finale data collector. I mean, the on your Finale home screen. So we're going to connect to this Doc Mobile scanner. We're going to update this scanner to make sure it's got all the latest information. Make sure it's got those orders that came down from ShipStation into your account. So now that we got those orders, we're going to use this um, barcode scanner. So we're going to choose Pick. So we would choose Pick. Next thing, we want to do Batch. So we're not going to do Basic. We're not going to do Wave. But we're going to do Pick and Pack. So we're going to choose Pick and Pack. Now, Pick and Pack is separating the two operations. First you're going to pick, then you're going to pack. So let's do the picking part. So we're going to choose picking. Now at this point, the scanner is asking you, hey, scan all the order IDs that you want in this consolidated pick or this batch, right? So you can say, it, you can see it just says scan the ID or click here to choose. Now we could click here and it would actually show us all the orders that are in the system, but it's a whole lot easier to use your packing slip barcodes. So that's what we're going to do. So if you notice, I'm going to grab my scanner at this moment in time and hopefully kind of show you what I'm going to do here. So we've got three packing slips and I'm just going to scan each one. So we grab the first one. And you notice the scanner says orders one, 
We're going to grab the second one, orders two. Let's grab the third one, orders three. So that's our three orders. So we're going to set these aside because we need to go to the warehouse. Now over here in the background, you see my warehouse here. We've got some uh, bins. So it's now time for me to start to pick. So I'm going to hit the menu button because that's what it says to do. And then we're going to say start picking. So now that we've got start picking, this is where the mobile barcode scanner really is going to help your, uh, your employees. So notice that it's telling us what to do. You've got four items to go get. You've got to first get the yellow PVC cards, and it tells us to get one of them, and it also is telling us where to go. So it tells us to go into the warehouse to A04 and scan that location. So we're going to find the A04. That's the one right here in front of us. So we're going to scan that location. Now that we've scanned it, it says you need to get one of the yellow cards. So I'm going to reach in here and grab a yellow card. So we're going to scan this yellow card. We've got that. Now if you notice, I've got a plastic bin, which is kind of representing my cart, so I'm going to toss that in that cart. Um, and now if you look, the scanner is telling us, okay, that's all you need to do. So it's giving us some review of what should be left in there. In other words, the quantity of that item that should be left in that location. But it's also telling us, get ready, you need to go to A5 in the warehouse, if you look there on the screen. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to head to A5. That's great. Thanks for uh, telling me. So you need to scan the A5. So we're going to scan the next bin. And it tells us we need to get a white card. So I'm going to reach in here. I'm going to get a white card. So I'm going to scan that white card. Scanner says thank you. And you should have four left. I can look in there and verify. Yeah, there's four left. So let's go to A7. So I'm going to say OK. Go to A7. We need to get a red card. So A7 is right here. I'm going to verify we're at A7. And it tells us to get three red cards because that's on uh, more than one order. So I'm going to reach in here and I'm going to grab three. So I've got three of these uh, red cards. So I'm going to scan those. One. Two. Notice how the scanner is telling us to keep going. And hey, there's one more. So let's get that third red item. All right, so it tells us we're done with that. It also tells us, hey, get ready. You need to go to A9. So I'm going to say OK there. I'm going to go to A9. Now it tells us we need to get a black card. So I'm going to scan the location A9. And it tells us get one black card. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this. What if uh, somebody put the wrong item? So I've got a, a white card instead of a black card. And what if it was in that, that bin? And I'm not paying attention because, you know, there's... There's black cards and uh, white cards in there. Well, let's just uh, play like I'm going to make a mistake here. That never happens, right? So I'm going to scan the wrong item. So remember, the scanner will keep your, um, your employees um, out of trouble. So I'm going to say, ooh, I didn't mean to do that. All right, I better undo that. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab um, the black card like I'm supposed to. All right, so let's grab a black card. I've got that. Now, it tells me that was the last pick. Do you see that on the screen? So we've gotten all the items for all three orders. So I'm going to say OK. It also tells us that is it. You have picked all the items for all three orders. So I'm going to say complete. Now, at this moment, the scanner is telling us to enter a packing sublocation. So the purpose here is the scanner's taken everything out of the warehouse, it's removed it from its original storage locations, and now it's going to transfer it to a centralized packing location for your employees to pack from. So the goal there is now they don't have to walk in and out of the warehouse to pack each of the individual orders as they go through and pack them. They're just going to pack them right off of the table, or in my case, I've got this little packing bin where I, I removed everything from the warehouse. So we're going to call this my packing bin. All right, now. Okay, so we would just use our packing sublocation barcode. So I happen to have one on this bucket here. So I'm going to say, hey, get make sure you put all of this into the pack sublocation. So that means that we would carry everything that we picked out of the warehouse to the packing area, and they would then proceed to pack the orders from there. So I'm going to say OK here. Now the scanner throws me back to the main menu. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to go to the packing sublocation, 
so that we can pack everything in this uh, batch. So we'd go bite back to pick. We would choose pick and pack. Now we're going to choose packing. So we would click on packing. Now it'd say, hey, give me an order ID that you wish to pack. Now all we're going to do is I'm going to scan the very first um, packing slip. So I'm going to scan the first one. And it's going to tell me, hey, you need to get a red card. All right. And notice that it's telling me to get it from the pack sublocation. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't have to go in the warehouse to get it. I'm just going to get it right here from the packing sublocation. So I'm going to scan that, put that with the order. It tells me, hey, that was the last uh, pack. That was the last item that needed to be packed on that order. So I say, okay, that order is done. There's nothing else to get for that order. It's ready to go out the door. So let's go, okay. Now it's going to tell me, well, what else do you want to pack? So I'm going to grab the second packing slip. So I'm going to scan that. It tells me to get another red card. So I'm going to reach into the, to my little bin, grab a red card. Also tells me that there's one of those left in my pack sub location. Yeah, okay, thank you. Hopefully uh, that's the uh, for the other order. So it also tells me to get a black one because this order had both a red and a black. So I'm going to get that. It tells me that was the last pick or pack for that order. So it tells me, hey, you're done with that order. I'm saying, great, thank you. I'll send that out the door. So then we're down to our last order of that three. So I'm going to scan that order ID. It tells me get me a yellow card. So I'm going to grab that yellow card. Okay, what else do I need? It says here, um, I need a white card. So let me get one of those. Get that out of my bag. So I got a white. And then it tells me, what else? I should have another red one. There's my last red card. So that's the last pack of that one. I'm done with that. I have just now successfully packed all three of those after I had picked everything in the warehouse. So if I'm done here, I'm going to say menu, exit to main menu. I'm ready to throw this up to the cloud back into Finale. So of course you would come over here, dock your scanner, you'll see all the information here. So you can see the transfers or the actual, you know, operations that's actually going on back here. So if I was to show you here, you would see that we've got the picking part right here, which was transferring it from the original locations to the pack area. And then the three separate shipments on the packing of those. So we'll send those right up and uh, we're ready to go. So that's a, a quick example of how to use the pick and pack um, batch feature of the Finale mobile scanner. Now, of course, at this moment, what you normally would have done with these is you would have printed shipping labels and that would all have these all complete and ready to go.